This is number one from the 2013 Calc A, B, and B, C exams. Um, and it's kind of a rate in, rate out question. Um, but we're told that G of T is, uh, what is that, 90 plus 45 cosine of T squared over 18. Um, and then that's in tons per hour. And it's the amount of gravel of unprocessed gravel. I don't even know. It's the rate at which unprocessed gravel is arriving at a gravel processing plant. Um, okay, so that's a rate. So it's a derivative. Um, and the first question is to find g prime of 5. That's strictly a calculator problem. So you should have stored g of t on your calculator, and now you're using the numerical derivative feature to find g prime of 5. And it should give you negative 24.588. And then that's going to be in... Uh, it started out at tons per hour, so it's going to be tons per hour per hour, or tons per hour squared. Um, and then we need to interpret it. So, at t equals 5 hours, um, the rate at which unprocessed gravel, or gravel, arrives um, is decreasing at the rate of 24.588 tons per hour squared. Um, Okay, so that's part A. And in part B, we need to find the total amount of unprocessed gravel that arrives during the hours of operation. So it only operates between 0 and 8. Uh, this is your standard integral of a rate gives you total. So if we integrate the rate from 0 to 8, um, you end up with approximately, this calculator again, 825.551 tons. Uh, that's all there is to part B. Part C is the amount of unprocessed gravel increasing or decreasing at t equals 5. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to define a new function that tells me the uh, total amount of unprocessed gravel um, at a particular time. So that's going to be A of t is the amount you start with, which is 500, plus the integral from 0 to t of um, g of, I'm going to use u here, minus 100. And where that came from is g of t t, which I've changed to g of u, g is the rate at which it's coming into the plant, and 100 is the rate at which it's being processed, or kind of leaving the plant. So we're integrating uh, the rate in minus the rate out, which is a very common thing to do. Um, so as soon as I write that, I'm going to differentiate it and find a prime of t is just g of t minus 100 by the second fundamental theorem. So a prime of 5 is g of 5 minus 100. And I'm going to grab my calculator and do g of 5 minus 100 is negative 1.859, and that's in tons per hour. And uh, since that's negative, at t equals 5, the amount of unprocessed gravel is decreasing. All right, so that was kind of a lot of work, but defining A of t is essential because in the next part, I am... Uh, finding the absolute maximum. So what I need to do is I need to find the critical points, so that means that I need to find when g of t minus 100 equals 0, that's a calculator thing. I used my calculator to find the 0 of the function g of t minus 100. You might choose to use your calculator to find where g of t equals 100 and use the intersection feature, uh, but you really shouldn't be trying to use solve on this. Uh, solve is bad, especially when there are uh, trig functions involved. But anyway, I've got that to a bunch of decimals, and what I'm doing on my calculator is I'm actually storing that as T1. So I have stored that value. Um, and if you don't know how to store, search through the videos. There's definitely one on how to store values. Um, okay, so let's write this up by candidate's test. The uh, absolute maximum value is either at an endpoint or at a critical point. So it's at T equals 0, T equals 8 or at the critical point of A of t, which I found is t equals t1. And I've already written on my paper that t1 is equal to that thing, so anyone reading it would recognize that. So let's find these values. Um, A of 0 is 500. That was kind of given. Um, A of 8, so I'm just plugging 8 into my function from before and getting 525.551. So don't forget, A of t is 500 plus the integral from 0 to t of... Um, g of u minus 100. So that's where this value came from. And a of t1 is approximately 635.376 tons. So all of them are in tons. Uh, grammatically, I think it's okay to put tons at the end there. Um, okay, so those were the only candidates. 
So the maximum amount of unprocessed gravel that we have at any time on the hours of operation is 635.376 tons. And that's the whole problem, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.